if you are getting a no bus reading on the odometer and your Dodge or Chrysler or Jeep uh, is not starting it usually would indicate that you have a shorted circuit in the 5 volt reference signal from the engine computer uh, or PCM, ECM, ECU uh, so uh, typically what that means is something has shorted out and the computer is no longer feeding that 5 volts to the other various sensors and solenoids inside the engine that allows it to, to start and run uh, as of right now as you can tell the engine does not start uh, we're going to try to communicate via scan tool and see if we get any reading there's no communication with the engine computer uh, so what I have done is I have learned a way or I figured out a way to bypass the 5 volt reference signal by using a cigarette lighter USB plug as you can see here on the tip I have it wired to this red wire which is going to the positive terminal of the battery and this orange wire which is routed to the negative terminal of the battery on this throttle position sensor or TPS I am tapping into the 5 volt reference signal which in this case is violet white and it is just connected and spliced to this universal USB cable as you can see this here so now uh, that we have this sorted out we will now plug this in and you can hear everything pretty much turn on uh, we are now essentially bypassing the PCM to feed by 5 volts to all the various sensors, TPS, map sensor, fan position sensor, cam position sensor, and so on. And we will see here if the no bus signal is no, or actually still there, or the no bus is no longer there. I turn it off real quick, and I turn it back on. You hear the, end, uh, the fuel pump priming, and then you starts up. In this case, I'm having to give it some throttle in order to keep it alive. We will now see if the computer tells us anything, or the scan tool, I should say. Oh, the only code is idle air control valve motor circuit that could definitely play a role why it's not wanting to idle properly I'm having to push my foot on the throttle or the gas pedal to keep it alive if I were to just let go it wants to stall out because it makes sense considering that the idle air control valve circuit is what's being indicated by the scan tool but with that USB wire it is runnable startable runnable something I figured out on the side of the road so I let off on the pedal a little bit slowly so it can idle and we will do a reference test by simply unplugging this USB cable from a cigarette lighter did you see that here it definitely killed the car if I were to plug it back in to see if we hear any signals let me try that again. Unplug, plug it back in. Unplug, we will attempt to start it. Plug back in. Oh, wrong way. I'll try to start it and so it starts up. That the idle air control valve is at fault, which makes sense. It'll run if you give it some gas, a throttle. If we were let off just a little bit. There you go. I got it to idle just by letting off the throttle slightly. Once again, I unplug it.
plug it back in.